Wanya, what a molly everyone. Uh, my name's Sean Apo from the Aboriginal Carbon Foundation. Uh, this is the first time I've been to the fire forum uh, and it's been amazing to see some of the wildfire reduction impacts that um, these projects have been generating. Uh, I live and work in, in Sydney. Um, so uh, lucky enough to live and work on the lands of the Gadigal people down there and also want to pay my respects to the Larrakia people for uh, hosting this event and to Ison as well for, for putting this event on. Um, but as we see in the sort of southern areas, like their bushfires um, have been becoming more and more regular. So the work that you do has really informed a lot of the work um, that people like the Fire Sticks Alliance, who we have a partnership with, um, to be able to implement some projects in those southern areas around bushfire mitigation that also on the um, local mob side of it, like for them to see their country on fire is really traumatising. So, so they want to be able to get back out on country and to, um, to develop programs that uh, have social, cultural and environmental impacts. Um, so we are working with the Fire Sticks Alliance, or we have worked with them over a long period of time, to the point where we developed a cultural fire credit, which is an environmental, an indigenous environmental commodity that um, we are promoting throughout some of the southern states to be able to use as a bushfire mitigation strategy um, and as a way of investing in those kinds of projects so that we don't see what happened a couple of years ago. But from what we heard yesterday, from the Bureau of Meteorology and from what we see on the news today and some uh, reports that have been released in the last 24 hours as well. Like there's a lot more of that that's coming down the sort of pipeline in the next couple of years as well. So there's lots of work that needs to be done in the southern areas, learning from some of the lessons that you provided us. Um, unfortunately, we like to think of ourselves as a very smart c uh, country, but you know, you guys have been doing a lot of work up here for 10 years and it's a very bit, bit slower down, down south. And, uptaking some of those messages and some of those lessons. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about is um, the core benefits verifications framework that we developed in partnership with the Land Restoration Fund um, a couple of years ago. Uh, I come from a public health background and um, public health is a very interesting space to work in because when I was working in there and working in the um, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander health space, a lot was talked about um, deficits. You know, Aboriginal people don't have this and Aboriginal people don't have that. And so when it came to um, evaluating the, the work that we were doing, we were always measured against this, this average or this sort of national standard. Um, and what I really like about the core benefits verifications framework is it, it doesn't have any of that. So it's a way for projects to collect the information around the social, cultural and environmental benefits that are some of the outcomes of the work that you're doing. But the way that it's measured is it's it's peer to peer. So it's blackfellow to, to uh, blackfellow. So you have other projects come and do that verification work with you on your country, with your people. And it's about asking the right question to the right person in, in the right way. So you get the information that you need. And as we've heard today, um, and from Tom again, from the uh, Land Restoration Fund, that puts a premium on the work and on the carbon credits that your projects earn. And so at the moment, you know, if, you, if you're not collecting those kinds of core benefits and if you're not promoting them as being sort of carbon plus projects and you're leaving money on the um, table. And as we just heard Peter say, you know, this is something that we should all be getting our, our, our heads around and coming to our um, buyers with a sort of our own standard to be able to say, this is where we think that our, our um, projects and our, our, our ACU should be, should be priced at. And then you have all of that third party verified information that, that backs up that sort of price as well. So, you know, we're really um, happy to have been invited along to, to speak to everyone today and we'll be here um, for the next um, uh, today and probably for the rest of the week actually. So if you want more information, please come and get in touch and happy to answer some more questions again soon. Thank you.